Hi friends! Today I want to share with you curry flavored pork bun in Japanese, kareman. I think you might already know how Japanese people love curry. We try making everything with curry if there is a chance. Curry rice is our staple, and there are curry udon and deep fried curry bread, and curry korokke, and many more. The winter is coming, and in a cold winter day, nothing better than the hot steamed curry pork bent. Let's get started. First, we are making the dough. Put your flour, salt, and sugar in the turmeric to color the dough in a stand mixer bowl. Add baking powder to the bowl and run the mixer to mix it until the dry ingredients mix together. We add both baking powder and yeast for Chinese style steamed bands to leave in the dough. Add yeast and then pour in the room temperature water in a slow and steady stream. Keep the mixer running on low until the dough forms and then increase the speed to medium and knead for 5 minutes. When you stretch the dough and it stretches like paper thin, it's time to add lard. It's pork fat and it's a typical fat to add to the dough in a Chinese style dim sum dishes. If you don't have it and you can replace it with a flavorless vegetable oil. The oil or fat makes the dough elastic and gives the thin on the surface. Knead for 3 to 4 minutes until the dough comes back together. Shape into a bowl, cover with a plastic wrap and leave it until while making the filling. Cut your carrot into big chunks and put them in a food processor. Process until coarsely chopped. Add onion cut in four. Add ginger and garlic crop. Process until the vegetables are minced. Start processing from firm vegetables like carrot and add soft vegetables like onions and fragrances like garlic and ginger. You get the equally minced vegetables at the end. Heat your frying pan on medium-high heat. Cook your ground pork constantly stirred to separate into grains. When your pork turns white and thoroughly cooked, and the fat coming out, add vegetables we processed earlier. Cook until the vegetables are softened and smells good. Add curry powder and all-purpose flour. Cook until evenly seasoned and a little bit thicker in texture. I'm adding granulated chicken soup powder, tonkatsu sauce, and ketchup. If you don't have a granulated chicken soup powder, add chicken stock and cook until evaporated. Cook until it makes a thick paste. Add salt and pepper to your preference. You want to make sure there is no excess moisture remaining. When you wrap the filling with the dough, it's not easy to work with if there is a moisture in it. Transfer to a container and leave it until it comes to room temperature. If you are a beginner or uh, want to make a buns in uh, even sizes, weigh the filling before shaping. It passed almost 30 minutes. Let's see the dough. The dough is almost double in volume. Now move on to the shaping. Take the dough onto the dusted working surface. Cut the dough like W. Then shape it into two logs. Divide the dough into 40 grams. 
shape into balls and cover with plastic wrap to avoid drying out. Take one dough and roll out the edges while rotating the dough. The edges should be thinner than the center. We are pulling up the edges to the top so that the dough will gather together and it made it thicker on top. So it makes the even thickness when you finish wrapping the filling. Repeat the process. Everyone said I am doing it looks so easy. It surely requires a practice, but you can do it. Practice makes perfect. Put the bands on the parchment paper and place it on the bamboo steamer or any steamer you have in your kitchen. Put the lid on and leave 25 to 30 minutes until the band look fluffy. The Chinese style steamed bands don't need to rise like other bread because they contain baking powder and it's easy to rise in a short fermenting time. If you rise like an ordinary bread, the dough will shrink after steaming and that's not what we want. So, remember that the fermenting time for the steamed bands is shorter than the typical bread. When you touch it and you can see the dent with your fingers and it bounces back slowly, that's a good sign of you start steaming. Steam for 15 minutes on medium-high heat. After 15 minutes, take the steamer off from the stop top. Do not open the lid, but slowly release the steam. When you open the lid soon after cooking, the steam bands are exposed to the cold air. There will be a chance to shrink the bands and your pork band looks uneven and it doesn't look so delicious. So please release the steam first and do not expose the bands to the cold air, especially in the winter. Okay, it looks good. The moment of truth. Look at that fluffy dough and thick filling. And it smells so good. What I like about the Chinese style steam band is you don't have to use an oven and you can do it on the stove top and it feels like I am making something special. Make it a lot and bring it to your holiday parties and you can entertain people you love. It's not spicy at all so that everybody will love it. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipes and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!